sponsored by Kangook. Today, the fellows and I were taking off to do a little flight between the layers of earth and cloud. There's Scotty. Hello. Motor started up very nice. Everybody had their wings all laid out. Nice inflation, Scott. Scott got right up in the air. And I'm leaving in the whole process of what I do to kind of show I've got a whole set of things I do. I always go left hand, right hand, then I take a couple steps forward, check left, right, go back, give a little throttle, just make sure everything's ready to go. Easy run, lean back, right up off the ground. And since I've got such a long runway to work with here, I check everything when I'm up in the air, decelerate a little bit, and really get into my chair and get comfy. Big old diving, swooping turn. Thank you, Scott. Scott brought beach balls to the airport today, and that was a ton of fun kicking those. This fellow here at the airport is getting rid of his hangar. He's moving to a totally different airport. Can you imagine having the funds enough to be able to <laughs> move your entire hangar? Check that out. So we were right between the layers. The sun was coming right through. Beautiful. As you can tell, I'm working pretty exclusively on these wingovers. I'm really enjoying it, really getting the hang of it, starting to click pretty much every time. It's not scary anymore, but I am still being as cautious as I can be as I learn and practice this and practice and practice. This was a Monday morning, so I don't know, when your week starts off like this, it's going to be a good week. It's still, still, almost 500 flights in here. It's still surreal to have this perspective. Thank you so much, Scott. This is the first or one of the very first videos I've gotten to see where I get to see what it looks like from the outside view of these wingovers. That hydron throws around pretty easy. So also with this hydron, I notice if I pull in the tabs before I let the tabs out, um, it's so much easier. Pull them back in. I want to go down and check out the where the cows were not near the cows just where the cows were I thought Scott was dragging his feet on these plants Here goes Scott, down a little corridor of cut down shrubbery or whatever. He's about to do, I love doing that, where there's a big tree or a bush or something like that, you can fly up over it, pop up over it. You're going to be seeing a lot of these wingovers, I think, in the near future. One thing I really want to try is my Luna 2. I, it's the exact same size as this Hydron, but I have not taken it out to try to do any of these wingovers since I've really dialed in a wingover. Be on the lookout for that. I'll have to do that pretty soon. Boom! I can't. I'm pretty sure that those things are going to be deflated. Um, we're kicking them going like 40 miles an hour. I 
Nice job. There's New Dan. Uh, he's, I don't know how many flights he has now, probably 20 plus flights. This guy practices. He comes out to the field and just sits there, stays in his little pattern and practices, practices, practices. So that was a pretty rough landing. That hurt my ankles. It still looked like you were about here. Oh, really? And you were running pretty fast. Yeah. So I just wondered if you bury them a little more, if it'll slow you down a little bit. That's a good idea. Thank you very much. That was super nice of you, or sorry, that was super nice of Matt to have given me some advice there. And I indeed tried it and it worked out great. Here's Scott. You can see from how our wings are just kind of flopping down on the ground here that it, it was a pretty pretty nil wind day. And came down. These that, that BGD magic can take a beating though. That's I've seen that happen many, many times, and those wings are pretty robust as an A-wing. Here goes Tim. kicking Scott in the hand. No, he's foot dragging. Tim packs in some foot drags. Can't turn left.